Hey guys, welcome to 5 Minute Fridays with me, Jessica McGovern, multi-award winning international portrait photographer. Don't want to dilly-dally around this, but I'm going to talk about composition and I've got five minutes, so let's jump straight in. What is composition? Composition is how you structure an image either in camera or in editing afterwards. It's all about where things are placed within the scene and it makes an image either pleasing, impactful or boring and flat. So composition is really important as most people know. For me, hashtag composition is life. We have already done a video on composition, I'll link that above, but it's so ancient I need to do a refresh. I've got some images on the screen now that I want to share with you and we'll walk through some composition basics. Okay, so as you can see, Percy is stood really nicely here, but if you all also were to overlay the image with some grid lines then you would also notice that actually he conforms to one of if not the most important compositional rule now those aren't equal lines but this is what's called the rule of thirds grid rule of thirds is a really really important concept now the rule of thirds grid essentially works in a way that looks like this you can probably barely see the black lines running through that but as you can see these equal grids we've got one two three one two and three going over the image now the subject is positioned on or around one of these four cross points in the image now in this case percy is positioned so that his outside eye is on or around a vertical cross point which is something that is usually very pleasing for portraits so make a note of that one we also have in this instance in this image a, another little compositional tool happening and that is these log edges that you can see in the frame these are called leading lines leading lines lead the viewer into to the subject and as you can see both of them are nicely pointing towards the main man himself over there that's leading lines and the rule of thirds we'll look at a few more examples of that but hopefully this is easy to understand moving on to Ryoka here Ryoka is a really good example again of leading lines coming into the scene only she's got quite a few so these leading lines all point again towards the subject nice and straightforward now Ryoka is also conveniently placed on or around a third line, again, rule of thirds. Because Ryoka is leaning slightly towards the left-hand side, the space is left to the left. But in the background of this image, we also have framing elements in the place of this tree and this darker section at the side of the frame. You can see that Ryoka sits almost perfectly in the center of that natural frame. So in this image, we've got a few different principles in play. We've both got directional rule of thirds happening. We've got leading lines and we've got natural framing elements to divert the eye to exactly where we want it to be. Now, another one that I just wanna jump on forwards to here is Pippi. We're actually utilizing a diagonal path to provide interest for the eye. Diagonals and triangles are always going to be a win when it comes to composition. But we also have, again, a rule of thirds grid happening with her head placed on or around an upper third cross point and the space is left to the direction that she's looking into. My artwork and my drawing skills are brilliant, I know. We also have leading lines leading us in from the log, less so in this instance than before, as well have a framing element of the tree in the background. All of these things come together, and if you're struggling with it, just pick one and go with that. So pick rule of thirds always first and foremost. This image of a cocker spaniel puppy is a really, really good example of having a rule of thirds situation with space left in the direction the subject is looking into. If the subject is pointing in a certain direction, the space should be at that side. If the subject is looking in a certain direction, the space should be at that side. Wherever the eyes are going, the space should go. If the eyes are straightforward, go with the line of the body. But what if the line of the body is dead center? What if everything in the scene is symmetrical? What if all of the lines and the framing in the image is coming together so that there's a central point? Well, in that case, you need to go for what I call a center split. This is a perfect example of a center split. We've got the subject pretty much straight in the center of the image and everything else falls around that but don't think that there's nothing else happening here because we also have rule of thirds the eyes are on or around the upper third line there and everything works nicely notice on all of these images the space around the subject we need to make sure that the space and the subject has got room on the sides and in this case the sides are all balanced balance around the edges is important too so what do you do if you want to have a little bit more scale a little bit more space and then we come to little Finn's image here Finn's image is a great example of utilizing a curve in the subject to lead the viewer up into a certain direction in this case that direction is up 
Finn is looking this way and therefore there is more space to this side. He also sits on or around the lower third point in this to provide the scale. So what is composition and how do you use it? Well, first things first, make sure that you're placing the subject on or around a cross point. Make sure that the space is to the direction that the subject is looking into. And if not looking, then moving into. If everything is symmetrical, go for a center split and utilize curves and shapes in the natural environment to frame the scene. Leading lines are a win, so always use them if you can. And that is composition. If that was useful for you, please do let us know. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop some stuff in the comments because all of this is wonderful for the YouTube gods. Hopefully this was fun and I'll meet you back next week for another 5 Minute Friday. Oh, I really enjoyed that actually. I enjoyed that a lot. So yeah, see you soon.